what to do if you get pulled over for that first steps. Yeah, this always gets a little bit hairy, and, and the reason why is there are things, honestly, that I'll tell a client that uh, judges might have a problem with, <laughs> you know? Uh, it's kind of like the take the breath test, don't take the breath test. Uh, first time you, if you're ever accused of a DUI on the first time, it's not a crime to refuse to take a breath test. Uh, the second time, it is a crime. A lawyer can't tell you, give you advice to commit a crime, <laughs> uh, to refuse to take a breath test the second time. So, uh, you know, it gets a little bit uh, complicated. But essentially, again, if you get pulled over, uh, you want to protect your rights as much as you can. and. and you know, that's what we do to try to protect your rights. So obviously you want to try to uh, be cooperative, be polite with the officer. Uh, if you haven't been drinking or only drinking in moderation to where you're not impaired, you're not over the legal limit, then it's probably best to cooperate. Uh, and if you are arrested, uh, you're gonna have to make a decision on whether to take a breath test or not. Uh, again, there are consequences if you decline. Uh, always smart to ask to consult with a lawyer uh, prior to moving forward in the process.